Good morning everyone and welcome to Git Practical Session. This is Amir Basho. In this session, I am going to show you how to use cherry pick in Git branches using Visual Studio. In the previous sessions, I have explained to you how we are going to integrate the changes what we have done in the future branches to master branches by using merge and rebase. Now, you know, there's a lot of people I have been asked, I have often asked by the people how to merge only specific commits from one branch to another branch or from one branch into the current branch. The reason what why they want to merge the specific changes you need. So I asked them back again and I'm saying why you want uh, specific changes only you want to look into that one. Let's say you have written some code in in one of the future branch and you have committed it in multiple times that very that is very important right now in the current branch it may contain a bug fix or code that other people need have access of that one right now it may contain as i said it may contain a bug fix or future fix whatever it may be whatever the reason you you want to have that commit into the master branch right now but not the other code you have written in the future branches okay so in this situation uh, let's see in the future branches that you have 10 to 20 commits or there it happened for the bugs or else for the fixes anything what you have done for the release whatever you have done by the number of n number of team members but right now in your current branch right now you want only the particular commit has been happened so in that situation that you are using, using cherry pick okay cherry pick takes a commit fr from somewhere else and play it back wherever you are right now because it introduces the same change with a different parent git builds a new commit with a different id that's all commit is now applied to the master branch and committed in the master cherry pick behaves just like a match it's it's uh, simply like a match like what we have done in the previous branches like in the previous session it simply works like that in the same way it's like match match option that what we are going to do but the difference is that it's simply going ahead and getting only the particular commit whatever you required okay i'm just showing a live demo over here before that you know what the cherry pick is a great way to tackle these common problems what are the common problems that what we have right now in our in our uh, you know branches so let's see there are two situations that what we are having the two things are that let us assume i am working on one of the branch team a and team b as i shown you in the branches in the previous session okay i'm working on team a and team b let us assume unfortunately i have switched to team b where uh, sorry team a where i need to actually work on team b okay so the branches has been switched and i have made so many commi uh, commits over there but finally what are the commits are there i need to i made it in a wrong place or the wrong branch then what i can do i can't measure all the things everything whatever i have done it then i need to make the changes in the team b without affecting to the team a so this is the one of the situation right wrong branch what i have done accidentally committing the wrong branch is one of the situation that what is the common problem that we are, we are having so that what we can do we we need to commit the changes into the right branch okay how we can do by using the cherry pick the another one is that as i said i don't uh, there's one of the code fix has been done for a bug in one of the branch let us assume team a there's a lot of releases on a lot of bug fixes has been done but in team b there is the you know the code related or the bug related change has to be incorporated apart from the total uh, total commits so then at that time that i'm going to use the cherry pick okay so porting into the specific commit from the master branch without rebasing your branch so rebasing again commits on you know what are the changes has been done you can go ahead and rebase on the top of that one so apart from that you are going to use cherry pick over there based on the you know, merge and rebase but it's one kind of merge over there so let me show you an example let me give you an example if you see on my screen 
right so this is the master let us assume you know a b c d e f g h are my commits actually and I, from there from b commits what i have done i have created a new branch with the name of dev and after that uh, or else team a team b whatever the name you have given so which you are going to develop it and after that you have made some of the commits v w x y z like that so this is before uh, you know uh, making a, one of the commit before cherry pick this is the history of what you have okay now what you have to do you know there's a bug fix happen in another one of the in one of the branch called master it is nothing but f is the f is the commit that what you have done it okay now that f what are the commit only the particular apart from c d e f g h i want to only the f is the you know commit session that what i want then what you are going to do there is the option called cherry pick which you can merge by using cherry pick to the branch of the particular dev environment so what will happen what are the commit you are getting it it will be integrated into the future branch on the top of the uh, histories of the future branch or the dev branch or dev b okay it's simply nothing but cherry pick you are in the name itself it is saying cherry pick i'm going to pick it out the particular commit of the uh, particular commit of the branch and i'm going to be merging that commit into the future branch okay let me show you the live demo over here before let me switch to the visual studio okay see right now there are the two situation as i said so so actually i need to work on the team b unfortunately the branch has been uh, i am going to move to team a right let's see as i said there the master team a and tb in the previous session i have already explained you how you are going to merge and rebase it now what i am going to do i am going to make a small changes okay you know i just removed some of the content over there in my contact dot aspx and i have just added a label called label 1 or you know i just given the text as hello world if you see right now what i have done on the team a okay right now what i am going to do i am going to commit the changes simply saying commit changes for label 1 so what i am going to do what are the changes that have made it uh, i am going to commit all and sync right away and after that what i am going to do i am going to add two more labels label 2 and label 3 with the same uh, saying hello world 2 and hello world 3 and i'm going to save the changes now i'm going to commit the changes once again okay if you see uh, i'm going to commit changes for three labels okay for the better understanding i'm not going uh, in, you know deep into the development part i'm just using labels and small little uh, you know i'm making the changes very small okay and now what i'm going to do i'm just syncing the changes by using commit all on sync now i'm just removing one of the uh, one of the table row or one of the label that i'm going to remove it i'm making the changes and again i am going to sync it okay now i want to make the changes right i need to commit the changes right i'm going to changes again i'm saying commit commit changes for two labels okay and now what i'm going to two labels right and i'm going to commit all on sync now let me show you the history of the particular branch and then we can say what are the things that we have missed out and what are the things that we need to do let me go to the branches and uh, right now i am working on the team a okay let me show the history right now so today if you see i have made three changes one is the commit changes for label 1 and commit changes for three labels and two labels so i have made all these changes in team a unfortunately let assume this is the wrong branch okay or else i need only the particular uh, label 1 or the future one 
changes let us assume this is one of the feature or the bug what i have fixed it let us assume this uh, committed id b53 b8495 that only that changes i need to be they integrate to the particular team b then at this situation how we are going to integrate these changes into the team b so team b also working on uh, team b required some of the changes what we required what we had in the team b so then at that situation what we have to do just simply check out team b right let me see first the history of the team b if you see the same contact that is speaks i don't have the changes over here right let me show the history of the team a uh, sorry team b if you compare there's no changes the last change is that team b changes branch right if you see i'm just comparing the both the changes over here okay if you see over here what are the changes that what we have all right the last changes in team b is nothing but changes in team b and there's a lot of changes over here in this uh, match conflicts and comment change there's a lot of changes out there okay don't get confused so right now let us assume i have made the changes in the wrong branch or i need only the particular feature that what i need to pick it out first what we have to do first we need to go ahead in the team a right i have seen the history and team b i have seen the history now first what are the uh, changes where you need to integrate the changes right right now i need the changes in team b right i have just checked out the changes and then you cherry pick over there from the team a right now if you see i'm just selecting that what are the changes that are required and i'm just going to use cherry pick option okay now see i'm just going to right click on the particular commit you can view the commits details what are the things are there and now i'm going to use the cherry pick okay now if you see over here what is asking cherry pick completed and committed 941 this is the id that it is going to be creating in the history of the team b how can i know just refresh it if you see this is the id right 9159d e5 c it has been committed it has been picked up from the team a and merged into the team b just you need to do just check out from the check out the team b branch which you need to integrate the changes from which branch that you integrate that is from the cherry pick of b right let us remove whatever you have done it the wrong check in or whatever it may be right now let me see the contact page.aspx you can see the changes right what are, this is the team right now in which branch that you are in you are in the team b and you can see only one label changes over here right let me try one more time okay right now what i have to do i want to get two labels right now okay now i'm going to select it just right click on that one if you see the id 1536 right b71 double b bb that whatever we are having it will be on the top most of the history of the team b right now how we have to do right click on the branch or right click on the commit details and after just go ahead and cherry pick it okay there are the uh, conflicts are there right then which one you need to select it okay you, uh, take from the source or whatever it may be as we have already explained right i'm just taking from the target and i'm going to commit the changes okay continue i'm not giving any name over there now just go ahead and check it out now if you see over here i have selected team uh, from the label so you know the cherry pick whatever i have done the commit the changes for the two labels now you can see that one right so what are the way that i want it i can go ahead and just pick up the data so what are the commit details that i have i can go ahead and just pick up the data this is the way that it is cherry pick is very very useful to you let me see the contact.aspx if you see i have selected the last one is that i have selected two labels i can see the data label 1 label 2 over here and after that saying hello world and hello world 2 the texts of the labels that i can see very clearly over there so by using cherry pick okay 
you can select any kind of you have done for the one of the bug or one of the release or whatever the changes that commit detail that you have done it you can pick from any branch to any branch by not only from the merge merge is a different way it has been worked right merge, apart from the merge and rebase that you can use the cherry pick to make the code changes from one branch to another branch okay this is all about the cherry pick the thing is uh, these are the things that what we have for the cherry pick so that's all the commit commit is now applied to the master branch of the team b branch and committed as a new commit in the in the team b branch right so cherry pick because like a just a merge as i have already explained if git cannot apply the changes git leaves to resolve the conflicts manually and commit yourself this is what i have seen right there the, you know we have seen some of the conflicts over there uh, right in the same contact data aspects it will ask you what are the changes you required you want to commit it you want to keep the target and or else you want to keep the uh, source files or else you need to make the same changes on uh, the top of that one it will create a new id commit id and then it will make the changes into the related branch so you have done the mistakes or you have committed wrongly in the wrong branches whatever it may be it will be very useful to you by using the cherry pick thank you thank you for watching this session if you have any queries you can ping me at any time dot basha dot amir 86 at the rate of gmail dot com if you have not uh, reviewed the you know merge and rebase go to the previous session of my uh, eighth session merge or rebase in branches using git uh, in git using visual studio 2015 that is the previous session of this session if you have any queries you can ping me at basha dot amir 86 at the rate of gmail dot com i will be available always thank you thank you for watching this video